welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday, where today we are going to be looking at a website that is not necessarily new, but it's new to me. It's something I recently kind of learned about called WordWall. Now what this website is, is it is a website where you can basically enter in your own content. Um, it works for many different content areas, many different grade levels, and it will create these different types of um, really interactive games um, and just sort of take your content and sort of shape into a bunch of different forms um, that are fun for your students to do and to do some formative assessments with. Um, and it's a really, really simple thing to do. So we're going to dive right into WordWall. All right. So the first thing with WordWall to kind of know is that it is free to an extent. Um, if you set up an account, which you can use your Google account to do this, um, there's a little button right here you'll see that says upgrade. And if I click on that, it shows me I am getting this basic plan. It kind of gives a bunch of different things I can do with it. However, it is relatively limited. So I would say if you use this a couple times and you're like, oh man, I love this thing, it's definitely worth the investment. It's only $6 a month um, for the basic thing. You can also go $9 a month. Um, it's the kind of thing if you're teaching, especially with a team, uh, if you have like three or four other teachers that you're working with, you can very likely share it. Um, that's something to consider, uh, but it does cost a little bit of money if you're going to really use it a lot. But once you get used to using this, you might really find a ton of value in it. So let me just sort of show you what I did. I literally spent maybe five minutes building this activity. Um, I clicked on um, a create activity to get started. I picked the whack-a-mole because I thought that looked fun and then just started going from there. I'm gonna click back on my activities. When I set this up though, I, I used to teach English. So I put in, um, I made this be an action verb activity. So I basically listed a whole bunch of words that are action verbs and a whole bunch of words that aren't action verbs and it put it into this thing just for me. Um, so I didn't have to do anything else. So the result was this whack-a-mole game. And you'll see right away, so when I have the game finished, I can just play it right here on the screen. I can make it full size if I click on these little arrows. If I'm gonna show it maybe on my smart board in the front of the room and let the kids watch each other play, um, this is a great option. Have one student at a time come up. Of course, with COVID times currently, um, having students walk around the room isn't always an option though, so you may not be able to do that. You could always stand at the front of the room and have the kids kind of shout out what to hit also. I guess that's an option, but this also allows you a whole bunch of other things. If I click on share, um, I can share it out to my students. Um, so I can set, it says set assignment. Um, I'm gonna give it a name for what the results are gonna look like when I look back and see who did what. Um, I can have the kids either have a name, they can enter their own name or be anonymous. I can give it some sort of time frame. There's a couple other things. If I want them to see a leaderboard, I can do that. If I want to give them the option to start again, to show the answers, all those things. Once I have that all set though, it gives me this code, which I can do a variety of things with. Number one, it, it gives actually a link to embed it right into my Google Classroom. So if I want to put this right into Classroom as an activity the kids are going to do that day, I can click on this Google Classroom icon and it's going to um, have me choose what class, it's going to give me a few actions. Um, I can make it an announcement because it's just going to be an easy thing. And then it's going to give the kids this link to hop right into it. They don't have to log into anything to do this either, which is really nice. So if you're worried about kids having to type in a username or password, they don't have to do any of that. They're really just going to click on this link. They're going to type their name just so that it shows a name. Or if you click anonymous, they don't have to type a name at all. And then they can start playing the game. So that's one way you can put it into classroom. The other option though, and I kind of like this a lot, um, because a lot of times, you know, we're posting a lot of stuff to Google Classroom, um, especially with a lot of the remote and hybrid learning going on. So a lot of times I want to avoid putting just simple little things like this. It's just going to be an activity we do in class. It's not a graded assignment. This is just for performance assessment so I can see where the students are at with something. So I want to put it in my Pear Deck, or I'm going to put it in Pear Deck so that the students get that link through Pear Deck, which is a really nice 
uh, merge of these two things. So I can click on copy. So it's copied the link to my word wall game. And then when I go to a Google Slides presentation, and I just kind of quickly threw this together too. So um, I will open up, and you might have something existing. Maybe you use Google Slides for announcements in class or for something else that you've already had. You don't have to start your own Google Slides, but we do need to add this with Pear Deck. So I'm gonna get my Pear Deck um, uh, little features here on the side open. And what you would do is add this as a website. This is a really good use of this website. Um, interactive element of Pear Deck. So I'm going to paste my link in there and then update my slide. So now what it's going to do is when I go to run this, so we'll click start the lesson and this really can be either of these things, but I'm going to click instructor paste. We're going to get to my screen where it's going to show here, we don't actually need the dashboard. Can we drag that out? Uh, our code. So we've got DFMKCL. I'm just going to open a new tab and log in as a student so you can see. So what I say, DFMKCL. I'm happy today. And we can see what this will look. So for the student, what this would look like is, so we'll say if I'm on that first slide, um, okay, so the student, it just shows the slide. And then when I go to the second slide, it just kind of has, so on my screen in the classroom or my big TVs or whatever, it's gonna show verb bash. And then this is what the students are gonna get on their device. Now, one thing I would probably train my students to do is, um, so it will open up this whole thing in kind of a small window here. So if I go ahead and type my name and start, it's going to just show the website in this small space. However, if I want it to open up full screen, I just need to tell my students to click on the link at the bottom of the page where it says viewing wordwall.net slash play. So if they click on that, then it's going to open up full screen for them and they would type it in. Oh, hang on, let's see. To student. And it's going to open right up to the game. So I'll kind of show you how this works. So this is what then they're going to get on their screen. And like I said, it took me five minutes to make this, probably less than that. So I'm just going to click on anything that's an action verb. Um, and it takes you through quite a few different levels. Um, it gives them points. It's timed. So it's a really fun, simple thing. They're just going to kind of go through, uh, click on anything that's an action verb. these so you can kind of see how it goes. All right, so it's going to keep going through different levels. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this because we don't need to watch me play whack-a-mole. Um, but then that way it gets to them right through Pear Deck. Let me hop back over to WordWall though because um, one other thing I would like to show you is when you set up your activity, it does also give you these options down here at the bottom. Um, and this is kind of important to know in terms of timing. So right now it says that, that they're gonna get a one minute to do this. It kind of gives them levels, or I can make a single level. Um, I can give them amount of time or speed. Um, there can be these different extra things. At the end of the game, I might want to just show the answers. So there's a lot of things we can do in terms of how you customize your game to the students. The other thing that's really fun with this is it provides a lot of things. So it took me, like I said, less than five minutes just to enter in the content, just to put in, I put in a list of action verbs and a list of non-action verbs. And um, it gives me this game because that's what I originally asked for, but it also gives me a bunch of other activities. So there's a sorting game I could give them instead, or this game show quiz I could give them instead. It's taking the content I put in and giving it to me in multiple different formats. Um, it also can give you a printable. So um, if I have a kid who maybe doesn't have their device, they forgot it that day, I can just print something out for them. Obviously it's not quite as fun, but it gives you a printable resource for the same thing. So it's just really versatile. Um, so like I said, this is super easy. Um, you, when you go to create that activity, it gives you so many different templates. 
Um, if you have one of those accounts that you pay for, you get a little bit more, but even the free ones are pretty nice um, and just really fun and engaging. Um, and it can give you a great idea of uh, performative assessment. Um, like I said, you can use this in a lot of different ways in terms of content and grade level, um, but it's just a really versatile, fun tool to use. So word wall, check it out. Um, let me know if I can help you out with this one. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see in Tech Tip Tuesday, let me know that as well. All right. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you.